Hi everyone. Immunoelectron microscopy may be defined as a technique that utilizes antibodies labeled with electron dense moieties as probes to detect the antigen in conjunction with the sophisticated technique of electron microscopy. Similar to other immunodiagnostics like radioimmunoassay, immunofluorescence and ELISA, this technique also relies on the fine specificity of antibodies towards their antigens as well as choosing appropriate labels which may be visualized clearly. This technique is extremely powerful in detecting antigens in specific intracellular tissue components using both scanning and transmission electron microscopy. For electron microscopy, heavy metals or their compounds are routinely used as stains since their large sized nuclei block a large fraction of the incident electron beam resulting in a dark gray to black spot against light background in the image wherever the antigen is present within the sample. Immunoelectron microscopy involves coupling of an electron dense substance such as osmium tetroxide, ferritin and colloidal gold to the FC portion of the probing antibody for direct staining. Alternatively, these labels may be conjugated to an anti-immunoglobulin reagent which then binds to the plain or unlabeled antibody that in turn captures the antigen in the sample. The process then being referred to as indirect staining for immunoelectron microscopy. After the usual stringent wash which serves to eliminate all unbound label, the specimen can be visualized with the electron microscope where we look for black dots that are missing in the control or the unstained sample. If the label is visible, it implies a positive test signifying the presence of the antigen. Many a times, multiple electron labels of varying sizes are used to detect more than one antigens simultaneously in a single specimen. They are successfully detected together as well as they remain distinct from each other as the size of these dots are mutually different for different electron dense labels. Furthermore, the approximate numbers of these dots upon extensively changing the field also provide tentative information about the concentration of the antigens. We hope that our keen audience is able to grasp this concept clearly due to its simplified description and vivid illustrations. We, Brahmjit and Archana are really grateful to you for watching. We shall be back soon with more. Keep learning and growing. Bye till next time.